Well, good morning. It's a wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous August 31st sunrise. Uh, as I'm beginning this tape, the sun is just starting to crest the mountain. And you can see the valleys as they start to light up. And Smoke's not so bad today. That's another reason why I've chosen today. We've had a few fires and uh, we've put some potash, sort of speak, back into the ground for more growth, for more flowers. It's basically the ash that the tree leaves is one of the three elements that's required uh, for growth. So I've been watching basically a birth-death cycle uh, on many things, including the month of August, uh, different things. This tape here will be um, about growth. I say growth because I, that is the word that popped into my head two minutes before I started this tape. And um, I really find myself being in so present of time that uh, that's how these things go. I'm looking at a new season of uh, incredible growth. Growth that um, is inspiring in present time. Growth that is, is exciting in uh, things to come. Uh, growth because I believe we're finishing out a uh, small death cycle uh, just by watching Oh, astronomy, mathematics, astrology, that for that part of linear time, and then feelings and knowingness and tuning in and being at one, coming from that uh, aspect of uh, time. And then that overall intuitive thing that you have a deeper knowingness that comes from the, the whole totality in that aspect. All of these different things uh, can feel growth. Listening to what's going on with the planet. Uh, hearing all the things that, well, it's official now. Uh, <laughs> they've jerked the weather off by uh, putting a small hole into um, the ozone layer. And according to our six o'clock news, that if man doesn't change uh, out of fossil fuel, uh, and in two years cut down 50% that man can only basically live another 20 years on the planet and then we will have extinguished the human race. Uh, that brought a new perspective to man. Man had to stand there and look. It wasn't the next decade, the one we didn't have to worry about. It was 20 years, boom. Um, and it was quite unique because it was based on scientific evidence. They had had the theory for years, but until things happened, they you know, couldn't give it any truth. Well, the weather's changed, and now it's consistent. Uh, the water problem is real. Um, there is an ozone hole. And so, once again, there's growth in all things. Um, there's a death in all things so that there can be uh, a birth, a new creation from the ashes comes the, uh, the phoenix. August has been a, a just terrific, terrific uh, growth month. Uh, for all of you who have listened to the July tape, uh, I've stayed with the affirmations, I've stayed with my intent. Uh, if you listen to the July tape, just to sort of cap it off, uh, the small aspect of being 40,000 in the hole was cleared up to a plus of 100,000 and that's when you draw the line and pay taxes. That's uh, an actual figure. We're not really sure where the mystical two-thirds of that money came from. I can account for um, an actual 30,000 in cash showing up for my linear self and then trusting in the hole in my uh, emotional, my thought body, my divinity, my world as a whole, that part produced another two-thirds, which was another 70000 So at the end, I'm paying Uncle Sam a little over uh, taxes for 100000 My mind can find 30000 uh, I'm no longer into questioning things. I trust the whole. I know that the whole is there. 
Uh, if the hole is invisible, then why should I be able to account for all of the money? Uh, I should be able to expand, to extend, to trust, to go for it all. I'm telling myself I'm it all, so let's see all of these gifts that are talked about. Um, as we grow, as we, I mean, just take a look back in time. Don't, don't get caught out there too long. Don't get caught in the past. Check out and see the things that we've learned. You know, these tapes, one a month, have been designed to give you something different in your life. And there is growth because I hear the response in these tapes. You play them over and over. It's a happening thing. You get turned on. Um, I've got nothing but great results and great feedback from these tapes. Um, it gives you an insight for a month or so until you get that next tape and go, boom, yeah, another hit, yay, yes, you are a divine loving being, yes, you are turned on to the whole, yes, you are growing, yes, you are starting to experience things, yes, they're subtle, that's why they call them subtle bodies, but hey, have you been noticing things are, uh, are, are flowing gently? I'm not saying the lessons have uh, changed. We're probably still creating things, probably more intense now as we choose to grow. Uh, if you notice, however, the impact uh, after a little intense growth isn't so uh, difficult on the body if you're not taking things personal. Uh, growth, is, growth is a beautiful thing. It's, um, it's an experience of always expanding into God. See, God is always ever expanding whatever the principle of this thing is. Therefore, you are always growing and ever expanding. That spirit is ever growing and expanding, and it is capable of going through all of the dimensions. Hey, it's space. And your personality or your essence is capable of going out there and touching all parts of yourself, of your totality. These are the things that I've, I've worked on for myself. These are the things that I've grown with. See, there's different aspects of us all. As I grow, I project an honest picture of who I am, what I'm doing, and every moment along the trail. And the reason is because I'm a normal person like everybody else, pushing to figure out what's going on, see? Now on the physical plane, because my life is watched by everyone, um, you get judged a lot for what it is that you're doing or how you're doing it or the extravagance to which you're doing it and yet that's okay because it's never outside of yourself see you're watching yourself grow and the only reflection that you have is the world and you're either playing in it or you're not you're either trying to figure it out or you're not and so you're watching yourself as you go out there and grow you see because everything that's happening out there you've created you know it you're finally owning up to it because you can see the creation you're not blaming yourself for your creation anymore because it's it's perfect see you can learn something from every given moment and as you become more totality you begin to feel and know and sense that and you start experiencing the past and the future, what you used to be and what you're going to be all at once because you're growing into more of a totality. See, I've devoted myself <clears throat> to growing towards the divine. I've devoted myself towards growing to the divine. I will use any physical means that feels right to me as I grow to understand this divine aspect. And so my life in certain aspects is kind of outrageous because I say what it is, I follow my truth, I'm a living truth of what I teach. All of you know that. That's why I'm hanging out with you. That's why you're hanging out with me. As I trusted the universe to allow myself to feel the help from the universe to, to, to support me financially, hey, to support me mentally, emotionally, I needed an emotional pickup. I needed a mental pickup, you know, it's, it's strenuous to be in the hole. It's emotionally uh, a setback to be in the hole. And so I needed the universe to pick me up, and it picked me up not just financially, but in that invisible uh, 70,000, it picked me up emotionally, 
spiritually, um, mentally, not just physically, not just paying the bill. With paying the bill, there's a giant sigh. But there's also a, hey, I feel the love that, that happened with that. See, it comes down to love. All you people out there really loved me. The people who sent money, you've supported me. I send my love, my prayers back, and tell you the way that it was done by listening to the July tape. I still affirm, I am divine, I am prosperous, I am abundant, I am loving. I am divine, I am prosperous, I am abundant, I am loving. I am divine, I am prosperous, I am abundant, I am loving. I am all, I am that I am that I am. I've spent years of trying to understand all of these simple little things. It's come down to me growing myself and August has been a phenomenal growth for me. Um, it has been a super growth for me and this tape is me sharing my growth with you because I will be teaching about growth and how I've achieved certain aspects. You see, I can only teach and share what I've achieved. Um, certain things you learn as you teach and certain things you learn uh, as you reflect back and pick up different parts of the past, seeing them in the present and seeing the future all together. As a personality, as Dennis, um, I've pushed myself to the limits to understand the totality. And I followed everybody's words of what God meant. And I first discovered that um, you can't go in anybody's concept or ideas or thoughts, especially books and different things like that. Um, whatever it is that we're all trying to achieve is a very unique aspect. Uh, it's... it's um, the word God doesn't really just describe it. Yahweh doesn't make it happen. Uh, Om, uh, regardless of how many hours you crank it out, uh, put you in spaces. But it's as long as you are thinking that it belongs to some sort of an idea, you, you won't be able to sense it from that aspect. You will need that mental aspect to achieve it because it will send you in the direction of that experience of the totality because the mind is definitely part of the whole. And so is the personality, and so is the ego, and so are different things. Um, I'm going to take a pause for a moment. Thank you. As we, as we reach for the divinity, as we try to understand that it's, it's very elusive. It's 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 hard to explain, and so that's why I'm taking this August tape, and I'm going to talk about an experience that I've, I've shared with a group of people. Um, what I hear some of the feedback is it's best that when I just relate what it is that I'm doing and where I'm at and what I'm trying to to accomplish. Um, and so that's what this is. This tape is really about. It's also a feeling, an experience. Uh, it, it's all of it. You'll see. Now, um, as I've looked for this um, God essence, because I was raised in a Catholic viewpoint, I was looking for this blissful thing. Uh, people just describe it as bliss, and I didn't know what bliss really meant. Um, and so I, I kept looking when I didn't find what my concept of bliss should have been. And then I kept looking for different ideas on what the feed this... See, I was looking for the payback. There has to be a plus, some kind of payback, because that's the way the brain logic set out in, in some of us. Uh, in others of us, it does it different ways. But, you know, there's some sort of payback, some sort of understanding, some sort of, well, how does the circle really complete itself? Uh, and so we're, we're out there happening and we're working and slowly we discover that we have different concepts that we thought what was broken by ourselves, and we have to can them. And then it's sort of like, well, this was the ultimate concept and I'm going to really just change everything now. And you go, no, I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to keep doing it. As, I, as I've gone through my path, you know, people call me a healer and a master and a teacher. Now... It's a casual thing, because I don't know if anybody really stops to think about what it does mean, and I do, occasionally. I don't think. Uh, I have the experience, or I'm in that aspect, or that totality, and I'm manifesting from those views. 
And for myself, um, there's this thing that they call self-realization. And for myself, uh, and I can say to you, I've, I've had and have that experience. It is something that I directly relate to what the masters talk about achieving, uh, what different scripts talk about attaining, what yoga talks about in achieving. And because sometimes when those of us attain it don't fit into personality modes that even ourselves are trained to understand, we have difficulty in accepting these things. Even though we train ourselves years upon years upon years, studying with the best masters, living in the woods for years at a crack, uh, in attempts to achieve and feel this, when it does happen, it's sometimes difficult for the personality to grasp because it's still looking at itself going, well, hey, wait a minute, I'm Dennis. I can't be self-realized. What are you kidding me? Um, that's, that's just for masters. See? I'm a master, but yeah, that's for those people out there. And your personality has to go through some, some changes. Then you know it somehow within yourself because that's what you build upon. You have to learn to trust yourself. You have to learn to go out on a limb for yourself. You have to trust all that is within you besides your intellect. You're going on your intuitiveness, those things that only you know. You're trusting totally. You're putting your growth on the line. And then you discover, because suffering sometimes for some of us um, is a way of growth, that that builds energy. And so we start creating uh, more energy in the realm of suffering so that we can get the lesson and grow. Some of us uh, don't suffer uh, as much or not at all. And so we choose different routes to get that energy. Um, uh, for, for, for instance, we'll, <laughs> we'll teach a workshop on a week uh, and during a week and use that energy and, and get into the divine and, and really expand and really go and, you know, whatever. Whatever mode you're going to use for your growth. Um, and so as we use different things for our growth, I've, I've noticed that I've used all of these different things and I've used them to achieve this state. Um, I've never really set it with such a state of security because if you're not really secure within yourself and people look at you and they question you, even in their mind, it's enough of a doubt within yours for you to lose your center. And when you have all of the people who know you putting energy one way or another at you, you have to really even have more of a security. Not that there's anything greater than or less than, but as you reach into the totality to become more, you must experience more and you must be clear, therefore, and in harmony with more. Uh, all of the levels, not really more. Uh, it's just a word. As this summer came... I noticed the financial different stories that I created uh, using the uh, energy of finances to trust the whole, to really see if the whole was working for me, using uh, the group energy to see how that really worked with the whole. And I want to thank you because whatever it is that I've gained, we've all gained together as a whole. Because remember, once the thought is creative, it's all of ours to use. Financial independence, if that's a part of your gig, is totally yours for the asking. I am divine, I am abundant, I am prosperous, I am loving. I am divine, I am prosperous, I am abundant, I am loving. I am divine, I am prosperous, I am abundant, I am loving. And it is all yours. You just start growing yourself inside. See, it's your game. You are God. It is your creation. It all manifests to your actions. You put out the thought, the amount of feeling that put, you put behind it is the energy that makes the creative action down on the physical plane. That's how it's done. That will be the new, um, or not new, hey, listen, it's been around since God <laughs> itself has been around. Um, it's just part of the knowing. It's part of the totality. It's part of the whole. It's part of uh, whatever it takes. Um, 
But that's what I'll be working with and instructing uh, starting this fall. Whole new scenario. I'm excited. Also, one days. It's all happening. It's it's uh, it's good stuff. Now, um, as I've experienced the growth in the whole, I've had the achievement of having the divine aspect come within me and then f forcing myself to grow and into forcing my personality to believe that it can happen to an everyday person. Just like, see, just like me and you. See, the key with all of this is if I can do this, you can do it. And now I'm here to tell you, I am doing it. I've achieved that state of self-awareness and now in a very simple easy way I'm going to lay out all the steps on how it's done. Now there was a part in me that needed uh, different things so that you gain confidence in the things that you say as you grow so that you can always be ever expanding in the totality. You have to believe things within yourself whether you do or don't in the beginning, A, that's because you've got concepts. Slowly as you keep inf influencing the concept with divinity and going for the divine, you begin to um, <clears throat> let the concept drift into the divinity and you become the concept seeing both sides, which allows you to not take it personal, which allows you to just get great insights and start to get into a harmonious flow that works with all things. I mean, that's the whole point of everything. Yeah. <laughs> this is great, isn't it? Stop and take a breather just for a moment. I was on a roll, but I wanted to take a break. There was some really good material there. Now, as this August came up, see, this was a hot month for me. As a matter of fact, I'll get it right out of the way. Um, the best four weeks of my life. Uh, and... I have in the past had some very, very high times, one being self-realization. However, this self-realization is just a little different because it encompassed uh, uh, other aspects. So let me just explain what I'm, what I'm talking about here. There was um, summer coming, summer camp all of the money situations, trusting in the whole, just flowing, healing workshop coming up. I was watching the energy build and having a great time, not taking it personal, and then in part of my personality taking it personal because, hey, I'm a person just like everybody else. And there has to be something for those of you who are watching me to uh, get off on. So, um, like everybody else, I'm out there doing my scenario. Now, I'm having a great time, however, at summer camp, and as my birthday comes, I would say three weeks before my birthday, which was August 10th, uh, 1944, um, and on this birthday, I was going to be 44 years old. Now, weeks before it came up, you know how you get feelings or knowingnesses or whatever it is? Well, I just had a knowingness that, wow, this is going to be it. And whatever it is that you want to know, Dennis, you are going to know by your birthday. Now, I've never in my life put that kind of pressure on myself. And yet there was no pressure because it was a knowingness. It was like a major knowingness. And you either had to trust it or you didn't. You had to um, flow with it, be there and yet not project yourself into the future. See, this is a key. It's sort of like this thing with, uh, with time, like the four-year thing that we're working on. Um, forget that stuff. Let go of it. It's sort of like I forgot, even knowing that with uh, three weeks to go before my birthday, it was going to be the greatest three weeks going so far, and because it's always a plus, and it's always getting better. Um, I mean, now time is even greater yet. So, so I don't want to get ahead of myself because <laughs> I'm not in the future. Um, so I completely forget about my birthday. And this is a truth within myself, that part that really is paying attention, you know. And I also forget that on August the 7th, a couple days before mine, St. Germain has a big time pageant. And there are a lot of St. Germain people up here. And that slipped my mind completely. 
And as the time got closer, I started not getting accelerated in highness. Because <laughs> there isn't anything greater than our less than, but you can expand more. And the workshop started, and we've got 22 people. Now, as the time progresses, Dennis is aware of certain things, like 22 people. See, there's master numbers. There's from 1 to, from one to 0, and then there's 11, 22, 33, and 44. And they're unique because they're, um, they're well, you can just tell by 22, 33, 44. Um, and so I noticed that there's 22 people in the workshop. And I think, well, wow, this is pretty hot. That's, that's a pretty magical number. Um, and with 22 people. So I'm going, okay, so mathematically synchronicity is, is really happening. And I never even thought of it until in present time when I'm starting to notice it. And I'm thinking, wow, this is pretty good. And we're watching things happen. And needless to say, um, it's not that I'm into paranormal activity. I'm not. I'm into God. I mean, you guys know that. that that's just straight up for me. Uh, and yet, paranormal activity uh, seems to be a byproduct. It just sort of hangs around, you know. And the paranormal activity was definitely up. Things are happening at camp. Um, there's a beautiful sunset one day, and there's a beautiful orange cloud over the top of the camp. Well, actually, over the top of the tent. And we all go out, and we're looking at it, and the sun sets, and everything's beautiful, and there's this gorgeous all orange essence, just as bright as as a poster orange and we're all looking at it and I just kind of go well be aware of the obvious and the obvious was that the Sun had set and so there was no reason why this why this orange cloud should even be there and it's just there and it's staying and it's way past the sunset and it was magnificent and then it just is almost a perfect straight line across the top uh, to make it perfectly flat, it just sort of came down and just beautifully disappeared. And if it really was some form of a sunset, it would have gone from the ground up and not from the top down, just to sort of clinch it. If you were really aware of the obvious, you could see that it was a state of consciousness, just in pure orange, just pure manifesting, and, and just having a good time. During the workshop, several things, several things were going on. As a personality, I was able to sit back and this is Dennis. See, Dennis is the personality. He's the individual that figured out how to attain self-awareness. And I give myself credit for that um, because it's taken a lot of work. Just like each one of you will you know, work on yourself and you'll have to talk to your personality from time to time saying, hey, this is really what's happening. I am really turning into God. It is for real. See, not only can I do it, so can you. See, this is really the truth, and this is what it's all coming down to. Now, as the workshop went on, Dennis, the personality, is able to sit back and watch the totality. Um, it's sort of like you are everything that there is, and you consciously know that. That's what it's like when I teach. You know every state of consciousness that is in the room that's beyond personality that means that within your knowingness by the time you get done saying whatever it is that you're going to say you are going to have touched each individual in a very special way and within the agreement between the two of you you will raise your state of consciousness higher and you will let go of concepts that have held you up in the past that's how this stuff is done now, uh, this tape is coming to an end, and, and I just want to switch over to the other side because th th this is really important. Thank you. Well, hello there. I'm back. So I'll just give that explanation again. When you're teaching, you are allowing yourself to be the totality. All of the people who are in the room are also a totality. If you are conscious in certain dimensions and levels of the totality, you know what everyone is looking to grow from, what every person needs to hear or feel or experience so that you can, in your deliberation, in the de deliberation of the, of the wording, you say what is needed to be heard, felt, sensed. And that's how it's done. Now, when you do this, um, 
It is something that you are experiencing as yourself, as part of the whole. It is, um, it is a form of self-realization. I do not, I have not, <laughs> in the past, um, ever shared an aspect of self-realization to a degree where people who are sitting there while you are teaching are able to be drawn into that state of consciousness. In other words, what you are doing from uh, the spiritual or from a theologian's aspect is um, you are manifesting the divinity that you are, you are showing the godness that you are, and in that state of revelation as you reveal yourself as the as your as the total experience the people who are around you have the experience of seeing the divine of seeing the deity um, not only seeing it but feeling it and experiencing it and